Hey guys, how's it going today? So today we're going to go over uh, Christine. Okay, so here's KJ's video. She titled it, Christine Brown screams at disrespectful Cody for attending Pal's wedding while abandoning his kids. Let's see how much bullshit's in this one. All right, you ready? Everybody ready? I'm not, but I'm going to play it anyways, okay? Oh, and I'm going to have to show you, like, she literally changed her, like, avatar to a cartoon. <laughs> Without a crystal ball with Katie Joy. I, wow. Okay. We'll do this. <laughs> it's going to mute myself. But she did. She changed it to a cartoon. And she's, it, like the photo I showed yesterday, it had, um, it, somebody had opened her mouth and made her smile. But that's her actual avatar. I was like, oh my God. you got to be kidding me. Hey everyone, it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It's Thursday, October 20th. Wow, so a brand new clip drops. Uh, this time on people for Sister Wives and it's about Cody going to Oklahoma to officiate the wedding of his buddy, Brian Colwell. We have a long story about Brian coming up in the same video. And uh, the reaction of his children, which apparently Cody blames Christine for. I'm beginning to learn that Cody flat out blames Christine for everything. I think she's going to be the new scapegoat. You know how it was Mary's fault for everything, for all of his moods and all of his issues. Now it's Christine. So Cody makes the decision to fly cross country or to drive cross country. Actually, no, to drive from Arizona to Oklahoma to officiate the wedding of his friend and business partner, Brian Colwell. TLC is going to leave... I was going to say I was beginning to think, but I'll retract the beginning and say, I already do think you do lie about everything. So, I mean, there's that. And the fact that she knows that she's like, no, he didn't fly. He drove. Yeah, he drove from here to here. That is so creepy. I'll, you could just say he went to attend the wedding. You don't have to say, oh, he drove. Like you were right there in the car, like a little dirty fly because you weren't. Like, it's so creepy to me how she has to know every fucking detail or make it up. God. probably a huge part of Brian's story out. And that's why I'm here to fill in the details. So before we do, uh, before we jump into this, can you do me a huge favor and give this video a thumbs up? Also subscribe to my channel if you have not yet subscribed and make sure you turn those notifications on so you know when I go live or if new content loads. And uh, I'm trying to get to 300,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And it's absolutely free to subscribe and costs literally nothing. So make sure to take the plunge, hit the subscribe button so that not only you can get more of this content, but I can meet my goal. I would love to see so many of you like join or become subscribers. It's awesome seeing this community grow. It's been so much fun. So many fun you in comments and saying, I subscribe. Thank you to everyone. All right. This Five, five, eight, and it's barely turned. All right, this new clip is released by People Magazine, and it was po posted earlier today. Cody is at the wedding of his friend Brian. And among this is he is introducing his friend, Brian, and his new wife. Now, this wedding officiated in Oklahoma. And if you're wondering, Cody actually had to become a ordained minister in the state of Oklahoma. He actually filed paperwork for this to become like an ordained minister. And then he was the one that helped file the registration for his friend's wedding and marriage. I hope they had a special moment. And what was fun, all the fun part of it, it was fun introducing them. They're very traditional. Okay, so Cody introduces them and he says traditional wedding music is there. She's wearing a, you know, they're, Brian's in his 50s. So this is like maybe his second marriage. I don't know. She's beautiful. But he says his favorite part is really like saying their name. And he's going to go on and say that they're a traditional, traditional couple. Check traditional. This out. She wanted Brian's name. That was one of the things that helped me affirm. I get that easy demon out of my head. And I got followed here by a demon, you know, and she is very much this 
perfectly supporting wife. And I'm very excited about me introducing Mr. and Mrs. Brian Colwell. So, okay. So this is really bizarre. He says she wanted to take his name. They are a very traditional couple and that because she wanted to take his name, she's somehow that's evidence to him that she is a supportive wife and <laughs> traditional and what a demon followed him there because Christine, obviously he's officiating the wedding and he's been divorced and he's got his whole family falling apart, right? I took my husband's last name and I would say I'm not traditional. I kept my maiden name as my middle name, but I want to say something. Some people don't choose their, their last names because they're, they're traditional. So She chose to keep her maiden name because she wouldn't allow the fact of her just being a Paulson because she didn't want her husband to have quote unquote control of like over her name. Like it was really stupid, her response to it. So you wanted to keep your maiden name so you still have control over your name. Like it was fucking stupid. It was ridiculous. And I did not hear him say demon as in his, as in Christine, like, come on. Oh my God. She just keeps going, man. Just keeps going. Some of us choose it because we want to have the same last name as our children. And that was my point. I didn't want my child to have a hyphenated name. So I was like, well, if I'm going to have kids with my husband, which we did. I want to have the same last name. That was it. It wasn't like I want to be property of my husband. It was no, I want all of us to have the same last name. But for Cody, apparently the same last name is like a testimony that you're a traditional woman, which is not always the case. And why would he even say this? All three of his wives, all four of his wives have the same last name as him. But let's continue. So Cody is at this event and he's dancing. Absolutely no masks. It's people dancing all over the place. My first thought is Cody. So you can go to this event. You can spend time with your friends. You can drive cross country to your friend's wedding, but you can't help drive Isabel to move in with Maddie and you couldn't be there for her surgery. Obviously the word got back to who? The kids. And it was Janelle's children that let Christine's kids know about Cody traveling to Oklahoma for Brian's that Cody was officiating a wedding and told the bell. So Gwendolyn's mad. It was heartbroken. Gosh. She went exactly there. Goes, how can he justify officiating Brian's wedding when he wouldn't even come to my surgery? So once the kids find out about Cody going there, apparently Gwendolyn is really mad at her dad, but Isabel is hurt, beyond hurt, and apparently says to Christine, why is it that he can go to Brian's wedding, but he can't go to my surgery? I mean, it's a good question. Why couldn't he have gone to her surgery in the fall of 2020 at a hospital where everyone would have been masked, where he probably would have been able to get tested, where he could have been quarantined and gotten all kinds of stuff? Why couldn't he have been? Cody can't be away from Robin. That's it. I do agree that he should have been there for his daughter. What I don't agree with is these fucking masks. Are you kidding me? This is what you're, this is, this is your thing, masks. So you're saying he didn't go to his daughter's surgery because he would have had to get tested and wear a mask. And instead he went to the wedding where he wouldn't wear a mask. Are you fucked in like, wow, you were fucked in the head. You were delusional and you need to stop talking about these people. Holy fuck. It's bad enough. He didn't go like that's bullshit. I'd be furious. I'd be hurt. I'd be livid. Damn right. I'd call that fucker out. But to suggest that he didn't go because he had to wear a mask is delusional, Katie. Fucking grow up. That's all. He doesn't, it, he'll make a million excuses, but he cannot be away from Robin. That's it. My opinion. So there's this overlying thing from Christine with why I can go to a friend's wedding, but I can't go to Isabel's surgery. Isabel's surgery was at a time and a situation where we were required that I'm six or eight weeks away from home. No man could be away from work and from home and from family that long. Cody's explanation is that because of the way that it was for COVID, she, he would have had to be away from home for six to eight weeks. And no man can be away from his family for six to eight weeks. So it was okay for Christine to be away from her family for six to eight weeks, but no man can be away from his family for six to eight weeks. I promise you, if it was Robin or one of her kids, he would have been there. He couldn't be away from Robin. He just needs to say it. I couldn't be away from Robin. I couldn't be away from Robin. I'm going to miss my daughter's major surgery and again, here she is spreading lies and bullshit and insinuating that he didn't go because it wasn't his and Robin's daughter. What the fuck? Seriously? Seriously? Oh my God, the lies that she spews is just, it's too much.
history. Not to mention, did we forget that he wanted her to go alone? He's so gross. So because uh, he didn't go for six, to, he can't be away from six to eight weeks. That's why. That's why he couldn't go. What else does he say? I was gone for four days for Brian's wedding. That's it. And now I'm mad. What the hell? You think you're gonna go officiate your friend's wedding and not take care of your own family? I think she protested too much. She is trying to excuse herself by making me some kind of villain. Okay, so Cody says, I was only gone for four days. And that's why that's only, it only took me four days to go. And then Christine's like, I'm mad. Like, why can't he make his family a priority? Why can't he do this for his family? And it's true. Like this was a fun event and he could go across country and he could do it and have fun and have a blast. Well, okay, again, not cross country, a couple of states over into Oklahoma, but still he will not drive Isabel to North Carolina, but he'll go to Brian's wedding. It makes no sense. And so his response is that er she's furious because he's not prioritizing his family. And his response is that she's protesting too much. Who are you here with, honey? My dad and uncle. And Look at you. Much. And it's her, her problem, not his. He is such a freaking gaslighter. I don't have to live with him anymore. I'm not married to him. The lack of love between us was for a reason. I'm so glad I'm not, because I cannot respect this person anymore. Who he is and the choices that he's making, I cannot respect this man. This comment that she's making needs a mirror up in her face. Gosh. So Cody says, the lack of love in this family is for a reason, or the lack of love in this marriage was for a reason. She needs a mirror for everything that she's saying. Do you know what they say about narcissists? They say that like whatever a narcissist is complaining about or accusing someone else of, it's like what they're doing. So when he projects and gaslights and says it's Christine that's doing this stuff, he's the ones doing this stuff, right? Um, the lack of love is because Christine was not a submissive wife. The lack of love was because she was chubby, right? He said she was a chubby girl eating nachos. He wasn't attracted to her. The lack of love is because she stopped falling in line and obeying him. No, like she doesn't, in, in Cody's world, you don't get to tell Cody that he's messed up or or else he will do that. He'll say, well, I don't know if Cody has said that or not in any other video, but he's not saying that now. So why insinuate that? Why say that? And half of it's probably made up bullshit <clears throat> that he won't be submissive. She won't be submissive. His wife won't be submissive. This isn't the IBLP. And just because it's in it's a, a, polyg a polygamy or whatever it is called, um, I do not think that that's a cult. If I'm wrong, tell me, but I don't think it is. I think that she just loves to fucking talk about cults. And then she insinuates that she's in a cult. She's never been in a cult. She's a fucking liar. I've talked to people who ran that church. They are very hurt by what she's done. The lies and bullshit. She was never in a cult. Like <laughs> the fact that she gets away with all this lies, all these lies and all this bullshit is, is just beyond me. Doesn't make sense. Like at all. Well, the reason I don't love you was because of you, because of this behavior. You need a mirror to, to describe this. Christina's like, well, I'm glad that I'm not married to him now. He's not my problem anymore. This is like ridiculous. This is infuriating me. I don't know. I want to ask this and push this out and point this out to the audience. Like, what do you think? The, is, is, does Cody have a valid excuse here? Does he? I think as a mom, I would be furious too. That's my opinion. But does he have an excuse here? Now, Brian, now Brian Colwell, like Kyle Henderson, they're not going to tell us who he is, right? So Brian is Cody's business partner and best friend. He also has a charge from a conviction from the early 2000s when he was involved with this guy that was selling illegal weapons in gun shows. And Brian got a plea deal and took a misdemeanor, but between Brian, Brian's house was raided. They had put between Brian and this guy, Brian ended up taking a misdemeanor for getting false statements to an ATF agent. The gentleman that got the biggest 24 months out of this, he and his friends somehow were able to get a thousand, over a thousand illegal firearms into the private market gun shows. So they were basically trafficking weapon, weapons. And, and Brian testified against the guy that was doing the the moving you need to clean your own closet out before you start bitching about others number one and this is supposed to be about cody attending a wedding and not attending his daughter's surgery what is the fuck does this brian guy have to do with any of that she loves to trash people she loves to bring shit up so i'm gonna bring shit up you my dear had a dui you got behind the wheel of a fucking car and you could have fucking killed somebody all right asshole 
that is relevant. So whatever you're saying, this uh, class lady that got caught and you're bragging about that now, oh my God, it's so bad and this and other thing. Don't worry, I'll do a video on that. You also got one. Yes, you fucking did. And you, you could have killed somebody. That right there is fucking gross and so are you. And got a misdemeanor and bragged on the witness stand, mind you, that he did that because then he would not have a felony and he could still have guns. Now, what do what do Cody and Brian do? They have a weapons company called U.S. Tactical Firearms, and they sell firearms and accessories. And where do they sell them? Gun shows. I'm not implying that they are doing the same thing that Brian was caught doing in the early 2000s. I'm just saying that TLC will not tell you what Brian, who he is, and what he does. They also didn't tell you that Kyle Henderson was facing. Unbelievable. She just said and has just suggested that Cody is trafficking firearms because he's friends with Brian and because Brian did that way before. What the fuck? Really, Katie? You're sick. You need fucking help. Domestic DV charges for his wife that left him and that Cody was going to testify as a character witness for Kyle defending him, even though there was verifiable proof of what he had done, Kyle had done to his ex-wife. And he pled guilty to a, a lower count. So Cody's friends have lots of baggage, but TLC always leaves that off the show. So I'm here to tell you, what are your thoughts about this? Is Cody being a narcissist and ridiculous? Could, should he have been there for Isabel and not for Brian? And why is Cody being such a dingbat and saying that Christine needs a mirror? And also, do you agree with Christine that she's angry? I say, go, Christine, keep on saying the truth. And by the way, you guys, Christine has said she's not leaving the show, even though she's left Cody. What are your thoughts? Tell me in the comments below. Bye, guys. My thoughts are is she just needs to keep her mouth off of people. And instead of sitting there and lying about everything and making shit up, what she needs to do is stick to the facts. Like she just completely ambushed this. It's ridiculous. Oh, do you see it? Look at this shit. Wow. Let me see if I can make it bigger for you. Look at it. Without a crystal ball, with Katie Joy. You are without a crystal ball. I don't care if it's a licensed business or whatever. You Like, this whole wee bullshit is fucked up. And, and it was laughable, eh? Her talking about narcissists. Um, honey, you need to look in the mirror because you are the biggest one I've ever seen in my life, honestly. Ugh. All right, I am done with this video. I'm going to do the one, um, this one here, Kim Plath being arrested. I'm going to... I'm going to go over that as well. Um, I might do live tonight. I'm not sure. But anyways, I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you enjoy. Leave me, com leave me some comments. I'll actually get back to you. And I will see you later on. Bye, guys.